Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Derek here. We are back reacting to another episode of The Mandalorian. Last week was a big week. Uh, so last week, Ahsoka Tano showed up. And you guys showed up for my video, like holy frick. I think it's at like 4,000 views or something like that now. Like, that's crazy. Thank you. Um, but yeah, last time, that's that's the biggest thing that happened. Um, Ahsoka Tano in all her glory, played by Rosario Dawson. I thought maybe uh, going into the episode, we were gonna see her like briefly at the end of the episode and then maybe have her like do something crazy and then we wouldn't see her again. But no, she shows up in the first like 10 seconds of the episode and then is just featured throughout. And it's like, oh, oh, thank you, Dave. <laughs> You're amazing, Dave. Um, and it, it was wonderful. It was fantastic. Um, and I loved it. What else did we learn? We learned that Baby Yoda's real name is Grogu. Um, <laughs> now, I'm gonna kind of like interchange those every so often. I might call him Baby Yoda. I might call him Grogu. I might call them both at the same time. Um, it'll just take a little bit of getting used to, so patience with me on that. It's like when um, Daisy changed her name from from Sky to Daisy in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It's like, it'll just take a minute. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll catch up eventually. But Ahsoka decided that she is unable to train Grogu because of his attachment to Mando. And instead she says, like, go to this weird mountain and place Grogu on this stone and maybe someone will come find him. <laughs> Like, she's not even, like, guaranteeing. She's she's not like, hey, you know, I can't train him, but here, this will make up for it. She's like, there's a slim chance this might help. See ya. <laughs> and he's just like, well, frick, okay. <laughs> so, um, I don't think he's gonna make it there this episode. Uh, if if I had to guess, I'd say this is a, a side side quest episode again. Um, he's gonna run into some sort of complications trying to get to this friggin' mountain. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully they don't die. <laughs> uh, that's, I, I think that's the best we can hope for is that neither of them are murdered before they get to this mountain. Um, the Empire is still tracking them. That's not good. We don't want them to find them. Um... Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't even know what this episode is called. Um, someone last time said that I like had already seen the episode. They didn't think that I was being genuine when I was blatantly shocked that Ahsoka showed up. My, I guess my predictions were too good. Um, but yeah, this time I don't even know what the episode's called. So um, anything could happen. Before we jump into it. Please consider leaving a like on the video and please consider subscribing. That means a ton. The endorphins just popping off when that happens. Uh, <laughs> but otherwise, if you want to see the full length reaction to this episode, head down to my Patreon linked below. You just sync up your own copy and you can watch along with me. Should have that up relatively soon, within a week or two of the YouTube video going live. So bear with me on that. Um, but otherwise, I think that's all I gotta say. Thank you for watching. I love you. You specifically. You know who you are. I love you. <laughs> uh, let's watch some Star Wars. Let's watch Star Wars. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Let's, let's watch some Star Wars. Fennec Shan, I, I still think she's alive. I think, I think Fennec is alive. Love that little intro. Oh, dang. They're already here. Yeah, he loves that ball. <laughs> <laughs> he, he loves the fact that he knows his name now. Grogu. <laughs> it's 
like a dog. Grogu. 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 Come on. You can have it. Come on. Hey. Dang right. And they're gonna take real good care of you. No, you're gonna take real good care of him. There's no way you are letting anyone else take care of this kid. Nah. They're not separating. It's not gonna happen. The tragedy? What? Excuse me. <laughs> Something bad better not happen. Okay, so they straight up just made it to this planet. Like, easy peasy. Looks like we're gonna have to travel the last stretch with the windows down. <laughs> I like how he worded that. Does that jetpack not need fuel? Is it like solar powered? Now do the magic hand thingy and reach out to the force. <gasps> Is that Slave One? Is that Boba's ship? Formerly Django's ship? Bruh. What are you doing there, pal? Up, kid. We gotta get out of here. Oh. Shiz, dude. <laughs> we gotta get uh, yeah, you're not allowed to enter this thing. She's going Super Saiyan right now. <laughs> hey, he's... He's reaching out with the Force. He looks more adult right there than he has ever looked in the entire series. All right, well, time to fight Boba Fett while this kid does his thing. Hey, chill. Yeah, why though? What do you want? I'm here for the armor. For that armor? I mean, he is Boba Fett, so. My friends locked on to that little companion of yours up on that. Is it Fennec Shan? And if you remember, <laughs> it is. You have a keen ear, Mando. I knew she wasn't dead. Why put down the jetpack? That's yours. You get to keep that. Boba Fett. Ooh, dang. She's got robotic insides. That's cool. On my arm, in exchange, I guarantee the safety of the child, as well as your own. Yep, that's uh, that's some bad juju. You don't want to hang out with those guys. Yo, yo, Grogu, what you doing, kid? Time to go, kid. Yo, he, this is a process. Once it's started, you can't really interrupt it. <laughs> Holy frick, dude. It's like powerful. All right, let's see. I'll see who's better. I want to see I want to see Boba get his armor back. That would be dope. I think I think Mando is becoming a little more lenient with his 
uh, with his Mandalorian code and laws and stuff. So I, th I think he can give it to him. Ooh, he's gonna beat some people with that. Oh, dang. <laughs> this is the coolest thing that Boba Fett has ever done. Including the original trilogy. Good God. He's a machine. He just obliterated those guys. Come on, you can make it. Yes. Use those robot insides to push. Yeah, you gotta just get out of the way at that point. Don't just stand there. Oh, he's so cool. Now he's awesome. I love it. Ooh, go get your armor. Go get it, bud. Okay, Legolas. There's some Hawkeye action going on there. She's very good. Ming Na Wen is a straight boss. Baby Yoda's leveling up. He but he's gonna be able to talk after this. Reach out through the force, Mando. He's he's busy. Stop trying to interrupt him. Okay, I'm you. Oh, now he stops. <laughs> now he's gonna just take a nap. He's all tuckered out. Or, or Mando. Hell yeah, brother. Okay, let's move in. <laughs> he just doesn't care. He's like, all right, whatever. He just, he's tanking shots. He's like, these mean nothing to me. He's a little hefty, but oh, yes! <laughs> I love it. Oh, he's got knee rocket things. Whoo! That was insane. takes out both of them what a boss he's so good oh that yeah that's bad news bears no all your stuff was in there brah all the effort that we put into that that we put into that ship and you just blow it up have the dark truth has been engaged momentarily yikes dude that thing looks ginormous go get your jetpack what are you doing bro oh what are these robot looking things i knew these these were uh, from the end of the two episodes ago. 
Only four of them? They must be insane. Oh no. Hey, no. <laughs> They're gonna have to rescue him. Boba Fett and Mando are gonna have to go rescue this kid. Dang it. The ball. <laughs> you gotta get that kid back. And the Beskar Steel Spear. Your father was a foundling. Yes. Oh. He even fought in the Mandalorian Civil Wars. Then that armor belongs to you. So. He said he would ensure the safety of the child. In exchange for the return of my armor. He's going to help. ensure the safety of the child. The child's gone. Until he has returned to you safely, you're in your debt. Yo. Boba just swore out temporary life debt. So, you're giving Mando your ship, right? <laughs> Is that, that, that's what's happening? It's his ship now? I need you to locate someone in the prison registry. That's what I can do. Bill Burr. <laughs> Ex-Imperial Sharpshooter. Uh. <gasps> Last name Mayfield. It is Bill Burr. Yo! No way! They have the kid. Yeah, screw the rules. They have Grogu. Like, the rules went out the window. <laughs> He's taking them out. Did going on the force thing, like, re, like, did he fully remember his training? He's like straight good at it now. Or is he gonna get tuckered out again? <laughs> Grogu, you. Piece of work, kid. You're going ham. You've gotten very good. Have you ever seen one of these? Bruh. Come here, it's better. Put it in shackles. No! Don't put him in shackles. We come out of hypers. You're gonna die. You're all gonna die. You're all gonna die. You're all gonna die. You're all... Mando is gonna kill you all. God dang it. <laughs> Frickin' A. Bum bum. Okay, so this was a, a big episode. A lot of it was super dope, and then the end was very upsetting. <laughs> uh, so in the previews, they, they, showed, um, they showed Fennec Shan with Boba walking up to her in the previews. So I, I guessed that she was alive. Although I've been saying she's alive since last season. So whatever, whatever your face in the comments, if you're going to say that I had already watched this episode, you're a liar. Because I didn't. <laughs> um, but, no. So we start off, and uh, there, Mando and Baby Yoda, Grogu, are in the ship, just kind of, like, bonding a little bit, you know? Uh, he's, he's, he's almost, like, treating him like a pet, or like a dog, even though he's, like, a son. Where he's like, Grogu. Like, he, if you have a pet, 
when you um the moment that your pet kind of like realizes what its name is and you're like spot like spot sport kitty like when they turn and look at you like oh you just say it a ton you like like anytime you're like you just get them to look at you uh and then he gets the ball he's like you want the ball do you want you you gotta get take the ball <laughs> it's like dude you're treating your child like it's a like it's a dog <laughs> you need to chill but he gets it uh, and then he thinks he's mad at him because he's like I don't know. He he's he's a I, he's not mad out of him. He's just like upset that this kid has known how to do this the whole time. <laughs> um, straight up though, I didn't think that they were gonna find the planet like or get to the planet right away. I thought maybe like end of the season they would reach this planet and the Jedi would maybe reach out, but no, they straight up find this planet <laughs> right away. And he puts the kid on and he's like, all right, I don't know what to do with this, but uh, have at it, pal. Like, you do your thing. Uh, I have to go take out, uh, uh, I have to go take out uh, Boba Fett because for some reason he's here. Um, and when he walks away, Baby Yoda starts like, he starts actually connecting. He's like, all right, fine, I'll do it. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Um, and then, so like the, 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 what am I trying to say? The medium? No, the middle. So like the middle 60% of this episode involves, uh, Boba Fett and Fennec Shan. So Boba wants his armor. I'm surprised that he hasn't like gone to find his armor in the previous like five years on Tatooine like didn't he know where it was or did or did he not know where it was and he was just kind of like searching I feel like he he could have known where it was though because if there was room like if Mando found that uh like if Mando found Cobb Vanth via rumors of a Mandalorian like I feel like Boba could have just gone and found that as well you know he's capable um but you know who knows? So he's been tracking Mando uh, since Tatooine, uh, loosely tracking him because he wants his armor back. And he is threatening to shoot Baby Yoda uh, via Fennec Shan. Uh, and I knew I knew he saved her. Uh, he gave her some like new robotic insides, which is pretty dope. Uh, I love Ming-Na Wen. So anytime she is on screen, I am happy with that. But yeah, so he, they they want to make a deal. Like their whole deal is give me my armor back and we'll make sure that the kid is fine and that you're fine and everything's Gucci. Like we'll have we'll have a party <laughs> as long as you just give me my armor back. And at first Mando's like, "No, dude, you, that's not Mandalorian creed. Like you can't have it." And Boba's like, "Dude, bro. Bro, do you know who I am? <laughs> do do you know who I am?" <laughs> My papa <laughs> fought the Jedi in the Civil Wars, man. In the in the Mandalorian Civil Wars, he fought, and he fought the Jedi in, in the Clone Wars. Like, he was a foundling. He's the real deal. He's just like you. Like, this is, this belong. give me. <laughs> this is mine. <laughs> and Mando, Mando at first is like, nah, fam. Uh, I'm gonna go get this kid. And he goes to get Baby Yoda, Grogu. And Grogu's like going super saiyan with this beam of light going up and he can't even get through. It's like straight, just, it's decking him. He, he gets thrown back every time. Um, so Baby Yoda is leveling up. Grogu's, Grogu's going to level two, level three, maybe. Um, <laughs> and stormtroopers are here. They're trying to, uh, do their darndest to, to get Grogu. So... Boba Fett and Fennec Shan go absolutely ham. Like, oh, it is a pleasure to watch them work. Fennec Shan is a sharpshooter in every sense of the word. Like, she's she's so freaking quick on the draw. She's got precise accuracy. She never misses. She's so freaking good. Ming-Na Wen is perfect. 
at everything. She's perfect in every aspect of her existence. <laughs> I love her. Agent May for the win. Um, and then uh, Tamara Morrison, watching Boba Fett work. Oof. This is this episode is the the coolest thing Boba Fett has ever done in his entire life. <laughs> like original trilogy, he just looked cool. He didn't do anything and he went out like a little punk. Now he comes back and everyone's hyped. He finally does something awesome and you're like, "Okay, now his reputation like he is a man befitting the reputation of Boba Fett." And he just, he's destroying these things with his, he's got his club that he's just taking out. It's the um, Tusken Raider club, like just destroying these guys. Like their helmets are exploding and he's just going ham. Oh, that was so cool. And then he goes and he gets his armor and he, you know, he ditches the, the Tusken stuff. Cause he's like, dude, I got my own stuff back. He's just capping people left and right he's got knee rockets takes out both ships that are flying just oh incredible freaking loved it top notch boba fett love you man uh i used to not like you at all before the mandalorian i thought boba fett was dumb <laughs> i thought he was the most overrated character in the history of film uh because up to this point he was and now he finally did something cool so he's no longer overrated He's rated. <laughs> he's he's he is on par with where his reputation uh, has gotten him so far, and he's dope. Now, what happens next after that is arguably one of the most heartbreaking things we have ever seen, and that is Mando's ship, the Razor Crest, that we have spent so much time, you know learning to love and getting fixed just get just takes a direct missile like laser beam shot from the sky like this star destroyer is just like all right f this one ship in particular <clears throat> just destroys it. it's gone everything inside gone the only thing that makes it is the little steel ball that could be made out of beskar the little ball and then um uh the beskar uh spear staff Everything else is gone. It's like, dude, Empire, do you not know how much work we put into fixing this? <laughs> we have gone through so much. Ah, and then the dark troopers drop down. They take the kid and they yeet back up to the ship. And it, you know, Mando's all sad. He's like, dude, what the F? You just took my kid how am I supposed to get him back? Because they jumped. They're, they jumped out, out, of, out of the way. Uh, and Boba is like, all right, first of all, you need to look at this because I'm proving who I am. You see? Uh, this is me. I, my dad was a foundling. This is my armor. And man was like, all right, dude. Yeah, that's yours. Now what? And Boba is straight up just like, dude, my bro, my fam, friendo. Mando, Frando, we gonna get that kid back. <laughs> Mando's like, what do you mean? You don't owe me anything. He's like, I made a deal that if you give me my armor back, I will ensure that child's safety. So we gonna get that kid back. <laughs> and that is the best thing that could ever happen. So it looks like now going forward, Mando is assembling like his own personal dream team of people to get the kid back. So he's got Boba Fett, Fennec Shan, Cara Dune, and now he's going to have uh, Bill Burr, uh, Mayfield. I don't know how I guessed that that was him. I was like, dude, as soon as he was like a sharpshooter, I was like, Bill Burr? Because <laughs> that's wonderful. I, I love him. I love the fact that he's in this show. Um, so they're going to assemble a dream team. I don't think Ahsoka is going to be involved. Although maybe, uh, he'll find her again and be like, yo, they took the kid. I need you. Cause if, if he's going to get anyone to help him get this kid back, it's gotta be Ahsoka. Cause she could almost get him back single-handedly. 
she could find this ship and just destroy it. Like, she could wreck house through this Imperial Star Destroyer and come back with the kid just on her own. The, she's that cool. Um, but <laughs> then the end of the episode, we cut to Moff Gideon going to interrogate Grogu and he opens the door <laughs> and he's just, he's straight up, he didn't go to level three. He went to like level 11. He's just tossing stormtroopers across the room, smashing them against the wall, throwing them against each other. He's like, screw this place. My force abilities have been unlocked. <laughs> like he's awesome now. You know, maybe he doesn't have any lightsaber training, uh, but he has all of the force training that he has accumulated over his, what, how long was he being trained in the Jedi Temple? I want to say like 20, 30 years maybe, because he's 50. So um, take what, like 10 years on each side to where he like wasn't. I don't, I don't know. I would assume he, he was trained for at least five to 30 years, anywhere, anywhere in between there. Um, cause they said many masters trained him. So it had to have been a while. Uh, and he unlocked all those force abilities. He, he remembered all of it <laughs> and he's just tossing these kids, like making them look stupid. <laughs> but then he does, he does get sleepy after he does that. And Moff Gideon is a straight savage when he's just like, Oh, you got you got a little sleepy. You got, you recognize that lightsaber? It's like, dude, we're going to kill you. You're all going to die. Everyone on this ship is going to die. Oh, this, oh, God dang. This episode was so good. This was, this was a, a weird episode, like a weird mix of, um, it's like a setup episode in terms of like, um, like we're we're regaining our balance here before we like we're establishing a new base before we now launch up to the, like the climax of the season and and the final what like three this is episode this is episode six so there's two episodes left um yeah so this we're we're kind of deep breath before the the final two episodes of this season and it's gonna be insane I'm super pumped. Freaking love Star Wars. <laughs> God dang. Oh, all right. Um, I think those are all my thoughts this time. Let me know what you thought of this episode down below in the comments. Uh, what did you think about Grogu going ham at the end? How did you feel about Boba Fett regaining his armor and clapping cheeks all episode? He's just destroying like, he is a one-man army, even though there's now three, like, Mando's a one-man army, Fennec Shan is a one-woman army, and uh, Boba Fett's a one-man army, and now all three of them are on a team. <laughs> it's like, what? You don't stand a chance, pal. You're gonna die. Everyone, get out of the way. You're gonna die. <laughs> Ooh. Never get in the way of a father trying to find his kid when he also has two unstoppable friends with him. <laughs> like, you don't stand a chance. Uh, <laughs> uh, let me know. How, oh, how do you feel about the Razor Crest being destroyed? Is Boba Fett going to give Mando his ship and settle down to be like a farmer again, now that he has his armor? Like, does, does he want the armor to, to like, start up his... Uh, bounty hunting again or does he just like want it because it's a family heirloom and he's just like my dad gave me that armor I want it back and he he's gonna go home and just like keep it and then he's like all right you can have my ship uh ooh, who knows who knows man Ugh. so freaking good all right if you liked my reaction or the Mandalorian at all please leave a like on the video please subscribe if you want to see more uh, if you want to see the full-length reaction to this episode, head down to my Patreon linked in the description, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.